Hello, all my YouTubers out there. This is your boy Jaguar Raves, and I have to say, I have just wanted to make this video out there just to say that this acting thing has been just going wonderful. I I don't know why I started to act in skits and stuff like that. I just Whatever clicks to my mind, it's just like, I have to do it. It's just like, you know, I've, I've, I have to admit, the amount of things that are randomly on my channel, like to video games, to reviewing, to, well, maybe reviewing, but reacting to, you know, stuff like that. I mean, there's so many things that I've had on my channel with including food, experimenting. This one video I did was that I experiment a monster drink while bubbling up in hot heat on the stove. And let me tell you, it was ridiculous what the what it ended up turning out to be. And that was back at my old apartment. But um, this one, this time, is something totally different. We're going to deep dig deeper into something that's no, I don't think a lot of people talk about. I was just going through my thoughts while, you know, always me being alone and stuff like that. And I come to a conclusion of something, but I'm going to see how you think of this. You know, when we die, because everybody knows that we're going to die someday, a lot of times it's it's hard to lose someone and I was just tearing up just a while ago so if I'm like snorting and stuff like that trying to you know just forget about it but it's just I find it hard because I've lost somebody important to me in my life that unfortunately because of due to depression did a overdose and that was my mother that gave birth to me and yet I didn't even know nothing about her. It, it It's really, sometimes I just talk to myself and I just, I wish I could have been there. I wish I was older, but yet if I was older, then it would have been more hard on me. I could imagine, I, I just can't imagine what depression can do to a person and the thoughts that go through with it. I mean, I know that there's been lots of actors that had it and like, Robin Real Williams, if that's one of them, the one that did comedy for a long time and did a lot of great movies. I mean, he, you know, did his thing too. And that was shocking to the world, right? And and you think about all these people that die and, and stuff like that, and you spend so much time with them, or you don't. And let's say one day you get a call and you, and you hear that your mom or dad or grandma or niece or whomever died and um if it were to be with you know suicidal thoughts or you know um just having old age uh whatever the case may be and you get the call and you're like on the other side of the world or close by and you get the call that somebody walked in and they saw what they saw and you know it, it's like your phone just drops your whole body just drops and it's just one thing that you don't know what the rest of your life is going to be like because that's the hardest part in life is that what do you do now i mean you always people would always say that when they're at the funeral um they would say okay i wish if i could have one wish i wish i spent more time with them i i wish i could just be more around them more I wish I could, like, do these things, do those things. You wish so many other things about how you could be with them. And you might say all these wishes that you could have done, but then the past is the past, and the future is still the future ahead, and you just don't know what's next in life. You you only think about, like, how how much time you spent with the person. Or let's say, if even if it's not family-related, it's maybe something to do with a friend. And you known that friend, and you've been best friends all your life. You met in high school, you met in school, you met in kindergarten, you met in whatever, and you grew up all along. And you know you hear that your friend died, 
and you you remember so many great memories about them and you know what memories are cherishable moments in life that you spend every single time and life is a precious thing life is short as we all know that's the old saying as we always known is that life is short in life and the best thing to do is just try to you know either be close to family be close to your friends and live the best life you can and possibly will do because we all know that unfortunately as much as this video can be or will be depressing it's just a thing to think about where you know what what's the next chapter in your life after you lose a loved one or a friend or a colleague that has just been your absolutely friend your mentor and you know a lot of times people say oh my mentor is someone famous whom you know, I know them of what they do, but they don't know me. And I know that's kind of like, uh, I guess, a mentor kind of thing. But I think that my dad is my mentor. And, you know, you could say that somebody in your family was a mentor. And and your friend was a mentor to you. Because something, and a mentor, as we all know, is like someone you look up to. Someone that you want to be like when you when you grow up and mature a lot more better. And that's just the most thing that you look forward to is that you want to be more like that person because that person is just like amazing. And it doesn't even have to be about famous people and and stuff like that, because chances are, you know, the, that famous pe person that you might have seen or been in concerts with, you never been, you know, face to face with them and hug them. Oh, you might have. Right. But on rare occasions, and rare events, maybe in a meet and greet at a concert or, you know, a thing on the red carpet in Hollywood, I would imagine, by just getting lucky and taking their picture and then them moving on and, you know, not really talking to them, but just taking their picture. I mean, you know what I mean, but seriously, I mean, the point of this whole thing is that, you know, bottom line is we all know that we live not a long life. I mean, me as, you know, I mentioned this before, I know I'm a Christian and I know that I'm, you know, everybody has their own religion. Everybody can be atheists and Christians and Baptists and all those type of things. And that's fine. They're, that's all them. And we can't judge for people that are their own religion and their own beliefs of what they believe in because we we are all know that we're just human. We can accept people's religions and and we can't change people's re beliefs where if it's atheists or you know non-believers or christians or baptists or you know jewish people or what have you we can't just go say to a, a jewish person that has its own really belief that say okay you become christian on the other side we can't say that because that's rude that's that's not right that's that's unnecessary we, we just stick to what we believe, just as another would believe that, you know, maybe God doesn't exist. But then, you know, Christians would have their debate, and then atheists would have theirs. And I'm not really getting into that kind of thing, because really, I don't want to start an argument. All I'm trying to say is that life is short. People can believe what they believe. People could be having mentors and looking up to people, wishing that they could be like them. But in the short term, we all know that it's hard to lose somebody that you either love, cherish, adore, or look up to in life. And I only ask you this question where, for me, for me, I don't even know what I'm going to do next. If, you know, my dad's going to die because long, long story short is that my dad's been with me my whole life through the good, the bad, the not so well, you know. He, I gotta be honest with you, I mean, when my mom died of a suicide, and, and, and it was her own choice, I mean, I don't want to, you know, get into that, but it was hard for me, but it was also really hard for my dad, because when he found her, it was just like, it, he got more of a depression, because my dad, let's face it, my dad and mom both had depression, right, they both had it, and it's just a hard thing to come by, because it's hard to, once in a while to get out of that process and then you go to treatment you get go to therapy you go to all these things and sometimes if it's really bad you get off work and you don't work for a long time and you get but you get paid for you know well being on disability and stuff like that and that's fine too but it's just 
depression is a very serious thing. And when my dad was seeing my mom going through that process, doing an OD and all that hor horrifying things, and I don't really want to think about it too much, but I am telling you about it, is that it's very hard and it's hard to move on. And I, I know that my dad's been through a lot of trauma in his life, a lot of torment, a lot of depression, a lot of uh, things that are just too much to go through but he's been with me the whole way through and even when it came to a point where I where I met my next mom in life right and now everything feels like it's better because I have somebody to be with and and uh so that they can support me and and do a mother's job which let's face it being a mother is like the most wonderful thing to all mothers out there they love their children as much as they can and you know what the most heartbreaking thing is when they you know die first before their mother does or before their dad does because that then that's just again going back to the process of what you do next you can't even think straight you, you all you think is about is just sadness you think sadness and you don't know what to do you just want to, you know, it's just like, oh, well, there you go. I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't know what to do next. I should just end my life. No, I mean, people are just sad. That's what I'm trying to say. They're just sad, sad, sad. And I just don't know what to do next if my, you know, again, dad will die and stuff like that. But, hey, leave your comments down below of what you thought of this video. Uh, if you like this video, leave a like. Um, and yeah, uh, again, this has been your boy Jaguarez, and I'll see you wonderful people in the next one. Until then, bye-bye, take care, and peace. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.